Hey everyone, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and we're at the complex. Um, this is a property that's had a whole lot of drama and a lot of craziness going on. I know a lot of people are sad that some of that craziness is possibly ending, but I'm sure we'll have more stuff happen. Uh, but for this video, we're going to take a look at some of the demo work we've done. So for those of you who don't know, um, it's a seven unit property. It's got that house there. It's got a little house right there and then five units right here. And we bought it in May. It had four tenants in place. We went through an eviction with that property. The guy dropped off 500 tires. We evicted his tires and him. That was crazy. Um, we had some tenants fighting with each other. Uh, we had all kinds of stuff going on. So we've evicted one tenant, offered cash for keys to the other three tenants. Two of those have accepted cash for keys. The other is supposed to be out soon, but they're still here, number two and we have been able to start the demo and come up with some ideas on what we're doing for floor plans and different things on these properties as well. So we'll walk through um, at least three of the units, show you what they look like with everything out and what our ideas are for those units too. Okay, so of course, check out investormore.com for much more information on our flip rentals, be an agent, all that great stuff as well. Have tons of books on Amazon too if you want more in-depth information. And um, we'll start looking at this property. So we have a lot of videos of this property of the eviction the tires being dropped off the guy was evicted from a tire store and so that's how those tires got here um, all that craziness and then more videos of these properties when the tenants moved out they were not in good shape and we're also going to talk about some of the crazy stuff we found since we did demo there's a lot of interesting things in these properties that we've discovered um, that were just Sad, crazy, um, all kinds of weird stuff. So this is unit number five, where the tenant moved out, who was fighting with the unit from number two, said they got in fist fights, I don't know. But um, it was pretty bad. Didn't smell very good when we saw this one, and it still doesn't smell very good, even after taking off a lot of the flooring, trashing out everything. But some of the interesting stuff we've seen is, of course, you know, wall outlets that just are that's like one of the good ones right we'll show you first but that right there from all we can see is literally the only heat source for this entire unit it's a two bedroom unit and that's it so we have new heating ordered for everything uh, we'll come through and redo all of it and um, just crazy what some of the people were living like in some of these properties. Now, this used to be the kitchen. And this is one of our trickier decisions is what to do with this kitchen, how to make it work. Our plumbing is over here and you can see the crazy plumbing. They have like one pipe running the length of the building and it comes down here and then the sink juts out into the bath doorway in all of these units. So, we could actually build some custom um, cabinets that are very small and with a tiny sink, or we can move this doorway over. I think if we move the doorway over, we can come close to having a normal sink if we don't have any trim on it. So I think that's our plan. But for cabinets, you know, this is where your stove goes. That's where your fridge goes. If you want a dishwasher, it goes right here. And then you're literally left with almost no cabinets, very little counter space. So. It's hard to know what to do in this one. And you've got major power coming through right there. So it's like, do we take this cabinet out? If we do, we've got to reroute all that power. That could open up a whole nother can of worms. So this kitchen's tricky, unless we kind of move all the plumbing and, oh, look at, they skipped a balloon. <laughs> it's hard to know exactly what to do here. And of course they found cockroaches stuff all over when they're cleaning it out. That's to be expected, I guess. Um, and you know, maybe, you know, it's like, well, do we open up this wall? Do we take out this wall and open up to the living room? Well, this looks like a supporting wall. It's pretty thick. I think the roof peaks right there. So that opens up a whole nother can of worms if you start messing with structural stuff. So this kitchen is probably the trickiest decision we have to make. The rest of it, I think we can kind of figure out. Now for more crazy stuff we found in here, of course, um, you can see kind of some of the mold there and different stuff going on. There's literally a bucket sitting under that sink, just overflowing with water onto the ground. So that's always a good way to have your plumbing 
over here, um, we mentioned this in one of our shorts too. So if you like our shorts, let us know. Um, not like shorts you wear, but the small YouTube shorts. They put subfloor over old carpet. That's pretty bad. Like you're so lazy, you can't pull up the old carpet. You have to subfloor over it. And you can see right here, some of that carpet too. So just crazy stuff over and over like that in this property. And that's one reason why we got it so cheap. Um, 550,000 might not seem cheap to a lot of people, but for a seven unit property that's fully rented and rehab, this is a million dollar property. So it should be worth it when all is said and done and doing all this work, going through all this hassle. Or maybe not, we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, here are the bedrooms. Uh, amazing, of course, in condition. You can see there's no heat, no baseboard heaters anywhere, no vents in the ceiling, no vents anywhere. So they literally must have had space heaters or just cranked up that one wall heater or they opened their stove to use that for heat. We've seen that before. Who knows? Here is the bathroom, which as you can see is gutted. And it's actually a pretty good sized bathroom considering how tiny the rest of the place is. But again, yeah, plumbing, you know, all of it's outside the wall. So, and our plumber has said the plumbing is actually in decent condition. Uh, most of it's copper, although it's painted, it's not in bad shape. So we're not looking to completely redo all of it, but obviously we wanna make things safe and in decent condition. Here's a shower, of course. You know, we're not surprised to see what it looks like behind all the tile that was destroyed. And right here, you can see outside a little bit. You can see the daylight coming in. That's always a good feature of a house. And then this, this is hydrogen peroxide, or rubbing alcohol, sorry, rubbing alcohol. That's what rubbing alcohol looks like apparently. Who knows what that is? We're not, we're not gonna open that, that's for sure. And you can see the new windows. We put those in while she was still living here because half of them were broken, boarded up, literally a car window being used as one, so. We tried to help her out and, and fix up some things and we put the new roof on it already while tenants were living here. And then yeah, she constantly lied to us, constantly was trying to play tricks. So we decided the best thing to do was to get everybody out and redo it at that point. So the other kind of interesting thing for this unit is the garage. So you can see right here, this garage that was used to store that last unit stuff number five and it's been here this building was built in 1906 i looked it up so i think last video i said 1920s it's actually 1906 so this is probably like a carriage garage type thing for horses who knows but we were thinking of putting it as a bedroom for unit number four over here which we've shown a number of times but we redid unit number four to where it's a one bedroom and you have to walk through the bedroom to get to the bathroom and so if we made this another bedroom for unit number four you have to walk through the bedroom to get to the bathroom. And that's not a very good layout. So we're thinking we're probably going to put a floor in this, put a door right here that goes into the living room and make this a bedroom and make unit number five, a three bedroom. So that's our plan for now. Obviously a three bedroom will be much more valuable than having a little garage here. Um, you know, if we have a three bedroom unit, we could probably charge giving the condition and, well, it'll be fixed up, but the location, um, 1300 in rent. Whereas if it's a two bedroom, maybe 1100. Um, so it's a pretty big value add proposition to be able to add $200 a month in rent. And of course, um, we're going to be redoing all the fascia, fascia boards, all that rotten stuff, adding support, um, beams there too. And Per a suggestion from YouTube, thank you guys. We're trying to get a bid on laying a concrete pad all the way along here, maybe five feet out with steps. So people have real concrete steps, a little patio, make things look a lot nicer. And then someone had said we need to get rid of that tree, but it's really not too close to the building. So I think that is okay there. All right, so this one is number three, which is also a tenant who was here until, oh, probably two weeks ago, offered cash for keys again. Um, offered them $500 to move out. So their leases were month to month. So we could give them notice and say, hey, you have to leave in 30 days. 
but we offered them cash for keys because it gives them more motivation to leave, helps them out a little bit. And then if they decide, hey, we're not gonna leave, then we don't have to go through an eviction, which is also much more expensive. So here's what this unit looks like, kind of demoed and trashed out. It did have more electric baseboard. <laughs> so had a little bit more heat there. And then we had the tiny little bedroom here. It's so small, but there's not much we can do here except really leave it a bedroom. So I think our plan is kind of similar to four next door where we're gonna put a door to the bathroom there in a little closet next to it. And so you'll come through this room to go into uh, the bathroom instead of how it is now, which we'll show you. And if you don't like disgusting things, look away now, but more warning, more warning. Yep, those are roaches all over this unit, dead behind what was the closet. So uh, yeah, not great situation there. Some of the other weird stuff, I think we showed this in a short too, or maybe it's the other video. This crazy outlet, which I don't think I've seen this before. And from what people said, that's from the 40s or 50s. It was just an ungrounded quadruple outlet where you plug in like small lamps and stuff. So we obviously need to get this electric checked out in here. Um, some of the electric in the other units wasn't that bad. It was updated. Um, some of the wiring was changed, but this one does not look as good. So we'll definitely get that checked out and see what's going on there. Here, we have the kitchen, all empty. And yeah, before there's a cabinet there, a few cabinets there, you can kind of see them on the wall. And yeah, the kitchen sink jutted out eight inches into the bathroom doorway, which is not ideal. So if we can put a doorway right here and then have, you know, sink, toilet, shower, accessed from the bedroom, then it gives us much more room in the kitchen to put cabinets and counters on that side, cabinets and counters on this side, because in the other unit, we also took out that little closet right here and got rid of it. So that made things a little bit nicer. I can feel, oh yeah, that's why I can see and feel air blowing through. Yeah, very airtight windows. Again, look away if you don't like disgusting things. Yes, that is just more roaches all over. Ugh. Um, this it, one has an extra bedroom. So, well, now my whole plan I just was talking about, I think it's the wrong plan because we're talking about that for unit one, which we'll show you. But we don't want to put the door in the bedroom for the bathroom if we have a second bedroom here. So completely ignore everything I just said. I think this is the one. We're going to leave the door like this. We're going to try and build. This is, yes, sorry folks. This is going to be where we're going to custom build our own little small cabinets right here and have a small sink in there. We can get a 15 inch undermount sink that will fit in there. It won't jut out into the doorway. And we're going to leave the bedroom like it is just out of closet. And so the kitchen will, the bath will still be accessed from the kitchen, but we're gonna have that sink there. So sorry about that, but there's a lot going on here. There's more crazy outlets. <laughs> so this will be a bedroom. And of course, you know, why have glass when you have plexiglass for a window? And yeah, all kinds of crazy. This one real glass? Oh, that might be real glass, okay. But this little room, um, we can put a closet in right here. So behind this is the, what used to be the laundry room. And there's actually a basement right there. And maybe we'll go down there and show you the crazy murder room. I don't think I've been down there all the way yet. So this, we can uh, take the laundry room closet, put it in here, and maybe even put a little hall closet right there since it's a two bedroom too, and take part of it since we're removing the other closet. But more crazy stuff we found. Of course, when an outlet doesn't work and it's burned out, you just cover it with duct tape and paint it. That's how you fix things. Good job, people. All right, we'll keep going. We'll show you the little laundry room here. And yeah, I might venture down into the basement area. We'll see. So we did 
by an A-Flex with 16 garages, as many of you know, that has coin-operated laundry, wash and dryer. I love those things, they're so much fun. <laughs> I love getting quarters for some reason. But we thought one of them was broken, and we ordered a brand new one, but it turns out it started working again, or a tenant fixed it, we're not sure, but it's been working, I was just there yesterday, had $50 a quarter in it from the last week. So we ordered a new coin up washing machine that we're gonna put in here, now we get it, need to get a dryer, so we have room for that. This is that closet I was just telling you about, and that might have been more YouTube people suggesting stuff. So thank you, and I don't mean to be um, calling people YouTube people or anything. I don't remember exactly who said it, I'm sorry. I should look it up. But that might be our hall closet, this might be the bedroom closet, and then you have a real bedroom. So down here is the basement, which I don't think I've gone down here yet. I've kind of peeked down here with, oh, is this strong? This does not feel very strong. I'll go down backwards maybe. Hopefully there's no one down here because that door is just, oh, it goes farther. Open, so someone could really live here if they really wanted to. I mean, not that anybody wants to live down here, but the doors are open, it's not really locked. Oh man, look at that. Maybe I shouldn't have come down here. Oh, <laughs> that is some old stuff right there. And of course you like to see stuff spliced together and taped with masking tape. That's usually good. Huh, old sewer line here. Water lines, wow, they're going through the foundation there. Of course, we've got some creepy cobwebs. You've got your old boiler right here, which is not hooked up, obviously. So this whole place probably at one time had hot water heat throughout the whole thing. And they disconnected that and just put in the wall heaters. Gas line, I wonder if that's hooked up. It almost does look like it's still hooked up, maybe. Water heater, is that? Boy, I wonder if this is for the whole place. That might be the only water heater for these five units, because I don't think I've ever seen one, unless I'm just drawing a blank. I don't remember seeing a water heater in any of them, so that's interesting. And back here, okay, time to get out my flashlight on my phone. Oh, maybe. There we go. What do we have? Old TV maybe? Is that what that is? Scroll down here for you. Scroll, <laughs> pan. Um, wow. Nice mattress, I'm sure that is. Oh, tape measure, can never have too many tape measures. Should we venture back here more? Oh, there could obviously be some interesting animals living in here too. So, I think this ranks up here pretty good for a murder room as far as what we've seen. And there's just, I don't know where all this is coming from, but down here, that's just rust, right? Broken pipes rust from something. Corona bottles. This property gets more and more interesting all the time. Under there. Huh. Okay. Well, now we've explored the murder room at the complex. Surprised we didn't do that any sooner. What is that? I'm gonna have to pick up that piece of paper here and see what it says real quick. I'm not sure exactly what this is. I think it's in Spanish. So. Doesn't look super old now that I opened it up. Just super disgusting. All right, I'm gonna stop filming while I climb up these. Oh, is that burned? What? Look at that. That almost looks like it was on fire. <sighs> look at all these. And this, was that? That doesn't look as much as on fire right there. Maybe a little bit. Well, that makes me wonder 
even more about what's going on. Oh, look at this. Is that fire damage or just old? Pretty dark. It could be smoke damage. It could be this boiler caught on fire. Who knows? Or, I mean, this electrical looks great. <laughs> could it have been that? Huh. All right. Well, we'll go look at the other unit now. And this is unit number one. So unit two is still occupied. Uh, we saw five down there. We skipped four. I've shown that a bunch. I'll link to a video in it below. Saw three, saw a laundry room. And then here's number one, which was vacant when we bought it. And this one hasn't quite been trashed out yet, but this is where the four tires were, where we saw the neighbor into trying to break into the window here because he said the old landlord stole his tires and put them in here. So of course that was interesting. Uh, we can see, we have been making some progress, had some windows put in here, the old window there. And this one is slightly bigger. Like they're all kind of like the same floor plan with different dimensions. They're not quite the same. So it's got a big, nice window there. And this is the one where we're planning to have the closet here and the door to the bathroom there. So I apologize for that whole long spiel I had about changing the bathroom and then I was completely wrong. And here we have the kitchen. So it hasn't been trashed out yet. We'll definitely get it demoed out here soon. And here you can see how the sink juts out. It actually juts out less in this one than it did in the other one. Like I said, all the dimensions are different. There was like 17 inches of room in the other one and there was 18 or 19 inches of room here because this counter is 24 inches out. So the other one, we're gonna make a custom counter, custom sink and fit that in there. This one, we're putting the door right here because it's just a one bedroom and um, that makes more sense. And this is also, oh, someone's been using the toilet. I won't show you that disgusting part. Obviously, uh, I think someone was breaking in and living in this one too until we got the locks changed because there was always different stuff and socks and things and somebody broke into the other small unit we'll show you here soon too. New window there. So that just makes such a huge difference. Just having the windows in. And we've been doing the wide trim because it looks kind of cool. And it's actually been pretty affordable and cheaper than the regular trim, trim, so it works out great. And then, yeah, I think we'll remove that closet too, have a bigger kitchen, much more wide open. So this one, hopefully, and the others, will all be done and brand new here in a few weeks. Now, we'll go look at that beautiful property too. So this is a unit where the guy was evicted who had the 500 tires. And it's got the sweet pallet fence right there. And you can see it looks so much better with all the stuff cleaned up out of the yard. We no longer have a little kid's table in the tree. <laughs> Makes it a much nicer place. I think we're just gonna tear out all of this chain link, possibly the dead trees, and um, make the yard look nicer too. As a bonus, the city came by and poured a brand new sidewalk for us. Not just us, the whole street. But, so that's kind of nice. I was trying to get them to pour us a sidewalk in front of the buildings too, but they weren't too keen on that idea. All right, here is this one. So, we have it mostly trashed out. We do have a bigger baseboard heater in here too. We turned it on and it smelled so bad, we decided to turn it off and take our chances with having it off. This had like, laminate flooring on it before and there was just water um, underneath it leaking from the sink pretty much so that's why it's so discolored and so yucky looking all over and uh, we boarded the windows so people stop breaking in this of course this is plexiglass why not with a window mounted on the outside you know that's how things are done and then that's the water heater that we found behind this wall panel because it was nailed and mudded and everything to the wall. So the only way to access that was to break the wall open. So that was kind of interesting as well. And then back here, we demoed the kitchen, which literally was about 40 second job taking out 
one cabinet in the stove. More cool stuff. Yep, that's that's a yard hose patched in for plumbing. We haven't tried that before, so that's a new fix we can start using. Outside faucets for the inside sink, that's also a new fix we can start using. <laughs> you can see, they also, I might have to get my flashlight here, drop the ceiling in this. It used to be higher. So hold on a second. Right there. So that's always interesting when they drop the ceiling. And yeah, we have the old bathroom back here. And this one, see I keep lying to you guys and telling you guys the wrong stuff. You also can see daylight down here. Let me turn, see? Daylight, who doesn't want daylight in their shower? But I said we had it all figured out. We don't have this one figured out either. It's so small and it's kind of like, do we just gut the whole thing, redo the bathroom, redo the kitchen, open it up and make it a studio because it's so small? Or do we just take this little wall out and make the kitchen slightly bigger and come out to the living room a little bit? We're not sure exactly what to do here. So this is another one where we're gonna work on the other units and get them done. Then we'll visit this one if we have any brilliant ideas or other people have brilliant ideas because yeah, it is a strange layout, strange property. The floorboards do move quite a bit right here. So I keep meaning to bring a screwdriver, see if there's a secret stash under there. Um, so that's this little property. So we'll get working on this guy here kind of after we do the other ones. And then, yeah, I think the, ceiling they put these boards up to hold the weird what are those ceiling panels hmm always interesting the new stuff you see every time we come here <laughs> all right so there's actually more weird stuff that we found here at the complex um, there's some really crazy outlets in the house but this has been a very long video already so i'll stop here Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate your support. I know a lot of you have liked the complex videos. So we're definitely going to have more videos as we rehab them, try and get better renters, possibly sell the property at some point as well. Maybe do concrete slab, who knows? All kinds of stuff we can do. Of course, we're going to paint everything. So if you haven't subscribed yet, really good time to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything going on here. If you haven't liked our video, love it when you like our video. Any comments, questions, suggestions, complaints, we love to hear those too, so leave those below. Again, investformore.com has a ton more information, a free book about how I got started if you're interested in doing fun deals like this. And we'll be back with much more videos coming up here soon. Thanks a lot for your support.